Welcome to Paint Life TV. I'm Judy John, And I'm Chrissy Idaho Painter. And today we've got our five favorite tools or gadgets that we think all painters should have with them. And we got them right behind us, all around us, but there are five tools you don't want to leave home mm -hmm. without. So don't these are it. tools that we have on us, in our vehicles, or attached to our ladders. And yeah. we'll start off today with the smallest tool, and this is a hinge pin removal tool right here. Those things are pretty awesome. They're done by Spring Tools. They sell a two pack that has a nail set and the hinge pin remover, or they sell just the hinge pin remover itself. These things are a lifesaver when it comes to taking care of those pesky door hinges. If you've never seen them used before, we got a couple videos of how we go about using them and they just simply just, you strike it and it just knocks the hinge pin out of a door hinge. And we used to use like a hammer and like a 16 penny nail or something like that. Mm -hmm. And what happens? The problem is one, you've got to go chase both of those things down. Two, what if that hammer comes off the nail, gouges the door, gouges the trim, there's just more likelihood of an accident happening and not so with one of these. And we say that because all that stuff is stuff has happened to us before. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go up to the next tool. I guess the next biggest one, I will start the two edge knife. And I know I you really love this knife and I love this knife. I love it so much that I forgot to put it in my pocket this morning. But really, we do we do really think this thing, why, why hasn't someone thought about putting a knife and a five in one together before this. Yeah, it's an amazing tool. And then this one by Zorcorp is a super high quality knife. It's got a simple blade removal button that you just push the button, the blade comes right out and you can change the blades or reverse the blade. One of the things I really like about this knife uh, is that it's heavy. Like it's it's like all metal construction and so, and it's got a belt clip on it. So it stays in your side pocket really well without falling out. That's a problem we've had before with five in ones, especially the ones with light plastic handles. They just come right out of the pocket into the bush, never to be found again. Super Ever. heavy duty five in one. It's got a cool looking color orange too, like that anodized orange look. This thing's gonna last you a whole long time. Incredible construction. So we'll go to the next one. Uh, biggest one would be the gooseneck. So the gooseneck is there's a couple things about the gooseneck and the first thing, there you go. John's just showed you, it bends and it stays bent like that. It's really stiff so you can bend it at whatever angle you want to reach whatever you want to reach. And then the next amazing thing about it, if you look really closely, it screws onto an extension pole. And what do we use these things for? We love using these. Uh, obviously you can use them for hard to reach spaces. If you've got like a ceiling fan up in the middle of a massive ceiling and no easy way to get to the cut-ins around it, you could hook one of these bad boys up to an extension pole. You can get it at just the right angle how you like it and work your cut-ins around. We also like them for doing high touch ups especially on like an exterior where maybe there was a stray drip that somebody missed. Uh, you've got stuff kind of packed up or you don't want to set a ladder up right there. You can throw it on a large extension pole, dip this in, touch it up real quick, it comes off. And it's the, the nice part about it screwing on directly is you don't have that same issue with a lot of other attachment the, the things that attach the brushes to the poles where the, it's kind of loose and it gives. You get nice tight grip on it and you're going to have an easier time cutting a line if you need This it. thing screws on very simply and easily, no tools. A lot of the other ones have wing nuts and, and stuff that you got to sit there and tighten the wing nuts, adjust the brush on it. This is simple. This is, I consider it a four star tool. To be a five star tool, all they would have to do is just increase the quality of the bris bristles and the ferrule and it would be a five star tool. But this is an amazing tool that every painter needs. But even with the bristles how they are, it's not the kind of brush you're going to do all of your painting with, but definitely the kind of brush every painter should have in their toolbox. There you go. So that is the Richard's Goose Knack. So no goose has died in the making of that brush. Now we've got the cover grip and this is a special drop cloth. It's got little gum drops on the back right here. These are non-edible gum, gum drops, but they do a special thing, don't they, John? If you say so. Yeah. They're going to keep your drop cloth from moving around, which is great. The other thing they're going to do is it adds a decent amount of weight to that drop cloth so that it's, it's also going to help it not move around. It's going to stay put. You can put a ladder on it if you need to, and it's not going to slip out from under you. Yeah, so that is very important when you're working on tile floors or hardwood floors, which are really slick with extension ladders. 
because the extension ladder is going to slide out. And I know from experience, because I had a friend working on a hardwood floor and he had an extension ladder and it slid, fell down and he broke his femur. And this would have saved his femur. Now, even though they say that, we still try to practice other ways of setting up our ladders if we're on tile floors and stuff. Besides these, there's some other mats that help with that. But all around drop cloth, this is pretty darn good drop cloth. Absolutely amazing. Um, great tool, gotta have one. The last thing would be the biggest thing. And this isn't mounted right now because we are inside and we couldn't just carry a ladder in here and show you, but this is an unmounted Werner ladder leveler. So I, what the heck does this thing do, John? It, it's going to change the way you use ladders forever. Yes. And they didn't even pay us to say that. And the, the, the most amazing thing about this ladder leveler compared to all the other ones I see, you have to like pull a pin out to get it to adjust or do something. This is self-leveling feet. So if you are on an uneven surface or even on stairs, you just push on it and the feet automatically level themselves. Absolutely incredible. They're a bit of a pain to install. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but after you have one of these on your ladder, you're never gonna be able to use an extension ladder without a set of these on it again. Yep, I think it took me about an hour to install them on one of the ladders, but once they're installed, they'll last the life of the ladder. We've never had one ever break before, but those self-leveling feet, not pulling pins, not making adjustments, not trying to find a rock, to stick under your oh ladder foot yeah. is absolutely incredible. We've used them on roofs, we use them on stairwells, we use them on dirt, and they do have the spikes on their feet, so you can use them on dirt or you can use them on concrete. It's going to save you a ton of time and give you a ton of peace of mind while you're on that ladder. So where in the heck can you find all these tools, John? Down in the description below, we're gonna have links to every one of these things where you can check them out and peruse, perhaps purchase at your convenience. But cruise. definitely things that you need to have in your rig. Go peruse below. I'm not sure what peruse means, but just peruse below. It's okay, just, just go with it. <laughs> there you go, top five tools or gadgets that we really love and enjoy, and you can't leave home without them. So if you enjoyed this video, John, what can you do? You can give us a thumbs up. You can hit that notification bell so you know the next time we come out with another awesome, life-changing, mind-blowing painting video. You can also find us on Facebook. We love Facebook. Yeah. We are going to be hitting 100,000 on Instagram followers here pretty soon. Follow us on Instagram for more tips and tricks there. We're giving tips and tricks Facebook, Instagram, and we also have some really cool blogs where? On it starts the with a P. Paint Life. Pinterest. 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 <laughs> there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you on our next video with even more tools and gadgets that we love or tips or tricks.